This is Drew with Boomer Music Company, your band and orchestra experts since 1976, and the podcastingstore.com, the one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. This is your weekend update. Well, greetings and welcome to your weekend update. Um, glad to be here as always. And if you like the videos, of course, like, share, and subscribe. And I don't know about you guys, but it definitely felt like there was an extra day in this week. Uh, it, it felt like Friday for a bunch of different days in a row. So it, it definitely been a weird week, but uh, we all got through it. It's the weekend. That's awesome. So in this week's View from the Road video, uh, one of the topics that we're talking about is the dropping of the Larimer County mask mandates, which I think is a really good thing. Uh, but it complicates things when it gets down to music making as it pertains to band. You're putting your mouth on things, you're blowing stuff into the air. And so I talked about that and kind of my thoughts on it. And I don't know what the answers are to that, but here's a clip from that View from the Road video. Band class, it's going to be necessary to continue wearing a mask. The current word on the street, and this is a Tuesday afternoon right now that I'm recording this, is that if one kid in the class is found to be positive, then the whole class is going to end up having to quarantine. I don't know. I mean, that, that's just where we're at here. I mean, I make the argument um, that are we crossing cohorts at lunch or are they wearing the mask properly in the hall? I mean, I, I understand the intent of it. I really, really do. I'm not criticizing that at all. We're trying to keep people safe and healthy. Um, but is band class the cause of the problem? And again, I don't know the answer to that. And then another video that we uh, recorded at CMEA was with Mr. Wes Kreitz from Yamaha, and he was talking about the YAV003 violin, which is a really cool piece of engineering. Um, the consistency of it is what's going to make it really great to use in a classroom. And uh, one of the things he was telling me about was how the tops are shaped such that they're not hand carved, they're, they're more of a press, and they're going to be the same from one violin to the next to the next, which means if you've got a bridge that's fitted for that, it should actually fit in any of those instruments without any additional shaping. So take a look at the clip from that video where he explains the features of that violin. Um, so that every top is pretty much identical. So it's going to be a consistency of size and shape, Correct. which is going to give you a consistency of sound. Correct. That and the fact that all of the bridges then are laser cut. Um, and you probably know as an educator, the only time a bridge really breaks is 10 minutes before you're getting ready to go on stage. Um, if you have a spare bridge in your drawer, the consistency and the, the specs on these are so tight that you can literally just pull out a bridge, slide it on, and it fits. No cutting, no shaving, no shaping, or anything. And then we had a new episode of Beyond the Stage. It was part two of our conversation with uh, with Lesson Studio owner Danielle Gillespie uh, down in Parker with Music at Main Street. And uh, one of the topics she was talking about is something that we've talked about a whole bunch, which is knowing your role and doing it well. And specifically with singing, she's talking about altos. Now, a lot of people like singing the melody and the high flying parts, but where the real interest and in where the, the real rubber meets the road is in those harmonies and in the middle. And uh, so she talks a little bit about wanting to convert uh, singers to being altos. So here's a clip from that Beyond the Stage interview. If the first player sounds good and no one notices I'm there, I did it right. Right, right, because, and I always think about that with like the alto line. I'm like, I love, I have so many kids mm -hmm. in my choirs who like, they don't want to sing alto because they want to sing the melody. They want to sing the soprano. Of right, it's a natural thing. But I'm like, I teach my, I had a sectional with altos a couple weeks ago. And I was like, you guys, you're like, you're like the strong, you are what makes it all crunchy and beautiful. Yeah. You create the dissonance, you create the resolution. It's you, you're really fun. Um, and I, I, I like to think that I will convert some altos in my life because at my <laughs> core, I went to college as a coloratura soprano, but I hated it to some extent because I always grew up in alto and I love those middle harmonies. It's really fun. Same kind of thing. And then finally, this week's essay over at the Podcasting Store Medium page uh, was titled uh, Finding Tribe in a Band I Did Not Want to Join. And that's in reference to back when I was an eighth grader getting ready to go into high school, our marching band was required to be in the concert band. But then a miraculous thing happened. It changed and became a fully extracurricular activity. So I knew beyond a doubt that that was something I did not want to do. Well, one of my friends who was in the band, uh, as I say, Volan told me that I was going to be in the band and I'm so glad that he did. I uh, ended up becoming a section leader, ended up building up some confidence, doing a lot of featured solos, and marching band turned out to be one of the best activities I could have done during high school, and so I was always thankful for that. Well, that really built up a tribe and a, a feeling of togetherness with music, and that's carried with me throughout 
yeah, everywhere that I've moved to, whether it's been to Naples, uh, back to Long Island, Hudson Valley, or even now out here in Colorado, everywhere I go, um, I have that commonality with people. And I've found groups to play in and wonderful people at every stop along the way. Uh, so check out that essay if you haven't read it yet. I uh, really appreciate that. So that is your weekend update. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you at the store. If you enjoyed the weekend update, do me a favor and follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channels, or visit our websites. This is Drew with Boomer Music Company and thepodcastingstore.com. Thanks for listening.